I have a whopper of a geo tutorial to show you today. It is amazing. It came out great. There's a couple missteps, which I actually say just in case other artists are having these problems to work out. But this is the final result, and we are going to get started this tutorial right now. Right here, I'm just cutting out some holographic it's like kind of like vinyl paper you put it on your windows and in the reflection it looks all really rainbowy and really really cool so I'm just sizing it to the size of my canvas and glue sticking it down <laughs> Let's talk about what I'm going to be using today. Which is the Epidex Pearl White. I'm going to try this Platinum Silver. Very metallic looking, hopefully. And I'm going to try this Pacific Turquoise with the thing that I place it in the bottom. I'm going to try to do a lot more clear than I normally do. It's not going to be thick colors because I do want this holograms to show through. And for the first time, I am trying the Epidex Ultra Clear Pro Hardener. This is a little bit different than I normally use. Um, usually I do two to two, but this is a two to one. So when I'm mixing, I'm going to have to pay a little bit more attention than I normally do. I really, really like this because it's the highest possible UV protection. And when you're using it, covering your paintings or anything like that, it's going to help protect them. But I would still, if you have customers or you're putting it into your own room, just don't put it in direct sunlight to be sure, just to be safe. All right, so we're going to get started today, and I'm going to make a hopefully really cool geode. So I have this gigantic acrylic gems, and I'll put in the description, I'll put in there everything where you can get the Epidex, where you can get the acrylic crystals and I'm going to be sprinkling a little bit of these on there at the end. It's Wind Modern Arts. Really, really cool stones. I'm going to be using some of her glitters mixed in. And ones I didn't use, but if you check their website, they have so many cool things on the Epidex website. But for now, let me try. We're gonna kind of put everything right where you want it. Usually, I try to glue some of these down and I'm going to try it a little differently this time. These are nice and big, but um, if you're doing something a smaller type of canvas, you might not want it. But really, I like how it fills in a lot of area. You don't want to be too conformed, so that's why I'm going to first set them down and then kind of look at it, step back and like look at it a little bit. Plus I'm going to be using smaller ones. You'll see as I get going. If I get too much in there, it kind of overtake it. And I, plus I want to add a bit of others in there too. Okay, I'm going to take it down just to look. Because you might not be able to see all the holographic. See how that looks? Really, really cool. Hmm. I don't 
flashlight. All right. So, um, I mean, that is that big guy. Some of these I'll put in when I'm doing the epoxy. But I just kind of want to see how it looks. You don't have to commit to anything doing it this way. You can just see how you're going to plan it out. I'm trying really hard to make it look more natural. Like these don't have to be all straight, but still kind of, you know, look good. You want it to go to the edge though. Try your best. All right, so the basics done. I'm gonna mix up my epoxy and how I figured out how to do it with the two to one. I'm gonna get measuring cups basically, but I don't have them right now. So I do have lines on my cup. Two and one, two times. I'm gonna have a separate container. And then I'll fill up to the same line because the cups have the same lines on them. One in this, two in that, pour in the container, mix them up. I wanted to show you because I just mixed the pearl. And overall, I've worked with a lot of epoxies. This has a very low bubbles to start with, which I'm really excited about. It's mixing smoothly. When you mix in powder, you got to do it a lot. Get it all the way around but look at that i don't know if you could see it oh it's really nice now with the teal i want this to be more transparent so i'm thinking i should have put in less powder i might have to figure out a different strategy just add more um, epoxy but i would really am trying to leave some clear I want to do some just clear spots on this. That looks good, actually. I think I'm all set. I got my extra gloves. Usually I put two on, but I've already taken one off. Okay, I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm just trying to get it around the basic line of them. Again, you got to do it in stages because the epoxy gets, well, I'm not even sure about this epoxy because I'm not, it's the first time I'm using it, but it's, you know, it's a heavy thing. This is a canvas. So, um, I try to do it in stages. So I also have my tinier beads. You drop in there. You can see like this one got loose. Just push it right back in. I'm cutting in here on narration because I pronounced the name of the resin wrong. It's Epodex, and it has a 60-minute work time, which is fantastic for a lot of artists doing something like this. And I'm only just building this up. This is going to be having a lot more in there. I'm going to be using um, some very nice like glitters that have the holographic look. It's going to help. It's going to help it a lot.
get this more thin so I don't sag the canvas, but yet yeah, still cover it all. See how this is a little bumpy, which it doesn't really look that bad. But if you don't like it, you could just go along it. I want it to be remain thin. First layer's done, and you just wait till tomorrow, and I can start again on the second. Wanted to show you here, I have, um, I'll put the link in the description. It's like color changing. She calls it powder. It's like mica, powder, glitter. I don't, she makes it herself. It's really awesome. Victoria. But So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pinch here. I can't see. <laughs> I'm sprinkling it around. To get a mist on it. I don't want too much. Ooh, some at the gold. Look, I don't know if you can see them. All right up in here. Ooh. And then I'll just spread a little bit more. And this was when it was wet. I did this, thought about it after I closed the camera. It's shaping up to be something really good. So here's a little bonus footage. I kept adding and adding and adding more of that. It's, and look at, I just couldn't stop. It turned out so cool. And it depends on which way you look at it, how bright the lights are. Look at that. And I'm probably gonna have to add more because I'm gonna be pouring the second layer, but we'll see. We'll see how this works. And I didn't mention either in the video, I didn't even torch this. There's no bubbles. I usually see the bubbles and then remember to torch, but thinking about it now, look how great this turned out. I'm really, really liking it. See the lines you see here? That's my glue stick. So hopefully it just looks like good texture at the end. And another thing is I'm not seeing, I'm seeing the glitter, but the whole 
holographic thing. I think it just got covered up right by the epoxy, which I was worried about it doing, but I was taking the chance. Gosh, but the thing looks so pretty. Okay, let's talk about this. You know how I put that thing down first, the holographic, and with the, here's the place where I didn't put the epoxy, and it's not the epoxy's fault, it is actually just, I should have tried to test one first, but sometimes when you put something down, it, it could take away the reflectiveness, and so now I have this to deal with because I can't leave that there. I'm gonna have to figure out. I think this is gonna be like a really cool, awesome gem one, which usually I don't like to waste too many, but I mean, look at it, it's, it's everywhere. That needs to be fixed. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. Said you needed a break and left with no head time I was strong for your sake but it made my heart drop Cause it's always been you and I Give me one more try, this is messing with my mind Not gonna lie, but I'll give you the space So you can figure this out I've been losing sleep and it won't get better I can't get my mind off of you Days go by and I can't help but wonder If you think about me too Don't you just hate it Being away from someone you just want to hold on to It's driving me crazy Tired of waiting I really hate being away from you everyone else we have our ups and downs it is not just one mistake that made you think about what life can be like without me in it i still thought it'd be you and i until we die but i'll give you the space so you can figure this out I've been losing sleep and it won't get better I can't get my mind off of you Days go by and I can't help but wonder If you think about me too Don't you just hate it Being away from someone you just want to hold on to It's driving me crazy Tired of waiting I really hate being away from you don't you just hate it being away from someone you just want to hold on to it's driving me crazy tired of waiting i really hate being away from you Stay tuned at the very end after all the photos for the bonus footage if you're interested more on how it's made in the from the very beginning and mixing and all that. So thank you for watching and have a great day everyone.
Try to fix that spot a little bit. Kind of worked. If you see anything like this, take it off if you can, because that's going to be problems later. I do not recommend the silver marker. I'm not even gonna put it in the description. This is a little, if you waited after, it's a little bit of extra things here. So right now, this is about how much I'm going to be putting in. Uh, and I know not many people put the platinum silver with the gold, but I'm going to use a little bit. And this is the pearl white. So I'm just going to pour some in. And let me see if I can do it with holding the camera. Probably about that much to start in each. Alrighty.